Have you ever been in a place that's crowded, surrounded by people such as this, but at the same time, you still feel alone, sad, or misunderstood? Um, I want to tell you that you're not alone, and I'm on my way to meet a friend who has been in this situation. And um, I want you to join me on this journey so that we can find out how things really feel from her perspective. Let's go. I'm good. So guys, today we're going to be talking about depression in this, you know, very public, but at the same time, very private space. We have to bring it down here so that we can have this unfiltered conversations, you know, conversations that need to be had. I know it's been a, you know, difficult time for you, but how did you know that you had depression? All right, I would go back to when I was in school. I'm a perfectionist. I'm someone okay. that, yeah, I like everything in order. And it was like my life was going out of order. I had two, two um, missing scripts and one carryover. So I think I was broken and it really affected me. When I was experiencing that, I didn't know what was happening to me. It was like I was in a dark place and I didn't know where the door was to get out of the room. That's how it felt. I couldn't sleep. I dreaded going to school. I dreaded waking up. And I was always unhappy, coupled with the fact that back at home, things were not. My family was struggling financially, and there were a lot of money issues. So it was weighing heavy on me. So the thing about depression is it could look different to different people, from loss of pleasure, loss of interest in activities, you know, lack of self-worth. But at the same time, experts have claimed that high levels of chronic stress can trigger depression. But then again, in so many people, traumatic events such as violence, abuse, and loss can trigger depression. So um, reach out. How did you know other people see you? How did you, how did, how did they react towards you? I had this friend, we're close, she knew what I was going to do. I'll call her name and say, just hug me and tell me everything's going to be okay. So we have this culture of dying in silence, you know, something's eating us up, but because we don't want to appear weak, we decide not to talk about it. How did you get help well, in all of this? By this time, I had I had come across a book by Just Meyer that talked about depression. So now I'm a makeup artist and I'm also a mental health enthusiast. I didn't mention earlier, I actually took a, th a course that was very therapeutic for me, a mental health course. And I can say that it gives me um, the opportunity to help people, which I find very fulfilling. And Kirika and I are going to, you know, take some questions from the DW community. And um, Mustafa Inoua from Bauchi, Nigeria asks, is there a category of persons, particularly in terms of age, who are at risk of depression. So, uh, most of uh, if you're watching this, there are a couple of risk factors. There's family, there's genetics. You know, sometimes depression could run in families. Sometimes it could be environmental factors. I think someone even said a lot of the depression you, that we're having in this country. It has to do with poverty, no poverty. money. <laughs> and I can understand that. Um, sometimes your personality mm -hmm. could even come yes. into, especially people who have you know, have low self-esteem. Yeah, timid people. You know, sometimes they get on social media, especially social media now, and you see things happening for other people, and yeah. they, they don't seem to be it's happening, happening for, for you. you. Exactly. You know, I think this is the point where, you know, you could remind us again on how you made it out. I think I owe it to my relationship with God. Secondly, I read a lot, and I think Reading transports you from your immediate world to another world. So let's say you're reading a book on hope, you begin to feel hopeful. I journal a lot too. Journaling helps me now track my triggers, know why I'm feeling like this at this point. I was more vocal. I talked about I like it. That. Yeah. So when I have issues, I don't think it's wrong to talk about it with someone. I'm not afraid to appear weak. I get mm. easily vulnerable. Mm. I yeah. Am, I am so so happy for you. Thank you. you. <laughs> so 
guys, uh, if you're watching this, I want you to know that you're not alone in the battle against depression. But the good news is there are solutions. Find a community, find someone you can trust to talk to. And I hope this encourages you to share your mental health journey with us or with anyone, but just speak up about it. And uh, I'm going to see another friend. Hope you join me. I'll see you then.